Before we can answer the last parts of this very long example, we need to talk uh, for a second about interpolation and extrapolation. So interpolation is when you use the regression model to make predictions for x values that are among those observations in the given data set. And extrapolation is when you use the regression model to make predictions for x values that are higher or lower than those observed in the data set. Okay, so that would mean that extrapolation is out here and out here. So those are extrapolation points. So if you use the model to make predictions out here or out here, right, low values and high values, that's extrapolation. And when you use the model to make predictions among the data points, you can see all these data points you already have, that's interpolation, inter meaning between. So inter between polation. All right, so in other words, if you go past where your data actually is, that's extrapolating. And you can go past before, right over here, or you can go past after, right over here. So before the points and after the points. Those are both extrapolations of different types. And then the interpolation is being among the data points you have. Being inside the scope of the model means you're among the data points you have. Being outside the scope of the model means that you're extrapolating. You can extrapolate a little bit and that's okay, but you want to be careful to not use extrapolation, to not go too far outside um, the scope of the model. So in other words, let me put it this way, you can extrapolate a little bit and that's okay, but if you start extrapolating out here, that's dangerous because you're so far away from the x values they actually are known. So you want to not go way over here or way over here. Now where's that that point of judgment? Eh, it's a judgment call, <laughs> as with most things in statistics. So this would be the scope of the model. Right? You can go a little bit before and a little bit after and you're, you're probably okay, but past that is outside the scope of the model. So if you're over here or over here, you're outside of that scope. Right? And you just want to be careful about that. You don't want to use the model to make predictions that are too far away from your actual known data points. So let's think about what this means for what we already did. We chose Gabon. Gabon was a country right here. And you can see it's in the midst of our data points. When we look at the x value, the x value for Gabon was 4.54, which is right in the middle of all of our known data points. We've got one point, maybe 1.8 over here, all the way up to 8.2 over here. So that's well within our known data points. So when we did that, we were making an interpolation. Right, so that was an example of interpolation. Right? And it's because the x equals 4.54 is right amongst our data points. Among the, that's among the known data. All right, now what if we found out there was a new country we didn't know about before that had a fertility rate of 9.3 births per woman? All right, now why would we not want to use our model to make a prediction for that country? Oop, let's go back here and look at the actual model. So here's 8.2. That was the highest country we had. That was Rwanda. 9.3 is actually out here. It's outside. <laughs> it's off the graph, as a matter of fact. It's way over here, right, if you extended that line. So 9.3 is right out here as an x value, and you want no part of making some kind of prediction as to what that y value is, right? So this would be x equals 9.3. We don't know what the y is, but that's way far away from our actual known data points. So that's outside the scope of the model, and that's the question they're asking. Why would we not want to use our model to make that prediction? Because x equals 8.2, if you'll remember, was Rwanda. Um, births per woman was the highest x value in our data set. And x equals 9.3 
is far past our known data set. And that's a judgment call I'm making based on the fact that it's not even on the graph, right? It's so far past our data set. I mean, I guess we could just say that x equals 9.3 is far past our known data, right? Our known data set. And that's because nine eight or excuse me nine point three is well past eight point two. All right, what would be a low value that we would not want to use to make predictions? Well, again, it's a little bit of a judgment call, but we can see here, um, this is about one point eight right there, right really close to two. So I would even want to do it for one. I mean, a country that has one birth per woman is very different from a country with one point eight or one point nine births per woman. We have nobody over here, so. It's a judgment call, but I would say um, x is about 1 because um, x equals about 1.8 is the lowest known data value. And that might not seem like a big difference, but it is for a country. And you can see because it's so far away on the graph. It's another reason why we actually did not really want to do an interpretation of the y-intercept on this one because it doesn't really make a lot of sense and it's also not going to really be accurate because x equals 0 is even further away from known data. All right, so we're finally done with that example. We will move on to this example which um, is from the Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial Comics. It's an online web comic. It's very funny. Um, in this particular graph, we asked the author if he would let us use it, and he agreed. Um, so he, and I just get a chuckle every time I look at this. So you can see she's glaring at him. She's frowning at him. And it says, why is that woman scowling at me? Do I know her? Because he doesn't know her. And the joke is, if she loves you more and more each day, by linear regression, she hated you before you met. So I've got here the x-axis is days known and love, right? So you meet and, you know, I'll give you, you know, maybe you have love at first sight. I'll give that to you. So love at first sight and then, you know, you love them more and more and more every day. It grows and grows. So, you know, <laughs> I guess I'll do it like this, right? So here's your regression line right there. Right? So back before you knew them, you're down at hate, right? Because love and hate, right? So down here you're at hate, and they're hating you, but they've never met you. <laughs> hate, I'll just put this little line in here, right? Hate before they've met you. So the comic is a joke about being outside the scope of the regression model and extrapolating too far. So you can't extrapolate back into the past on this regression model. This regression model is not valid back before you actually met her because otherwise people will be scowling at you wherever you happen to be, <laughs> right? Looks like they're at a coffee shop or something. So, so it's a joke, but it's also a warning. that regression models have limitations and you don't want to go outside in their scope and you want to you don't want to go outside that scope Oop, extrapolate too far which is what was done here. It was for comedic effect, but nevertheless, you don't want to extrapolate back to being hated before you're even met, right? That doesn't make any sense. And that's exactly the point. It doesn't make any sense. You should not use regression in this. You can use regression models over here, but you can't use regression models over here. That would be inappropriate. You're extrapolating too far, right? They're limited in scope to this side where it actually makes sense, where you actually have data.